6 million Muslims leave Islam in one year. Hello friends and family welcome to the Holy Scripture Christ is Lord. This is another reaction video. Make sure to like share and subscribe to the channel. Let us watch and have some fun this video is only for educational purposes. Hope you learned something from it. Uh, you know, uh, as you see the title and the, the thump, the Muslims always, the Muhammadans, when somebody converts to Islam, they make a huge party because this cult is dead. And the funny is that when they make their party, I mean, they don't even carry the news as it is. You will see like Zakura Nayuka saying in his, uh, and all the Muslims, not only him, Father, let us uh, zoom in more. Hilarion Hege, a permanent priest. You know, anyone who knows what priest mean in the Orthodox Church, he knew that this is the lowest rank in the church. And there is many reasons for that. Education and if you are married. So, when the Muslim, they try to make it a big deal if somebody converted to Islam and he is a permanent priest. You never heard of something called, like, I mean, if you, you can go right now and see and look for the, the ranks in the Orthodox Church. And then you will see that the priest is the lowest. But for us, it doesn't mean anything to be lowest. What lowest mean? You know, we are Christians, right? We doesn't have a, but this is how, I mean, the, like they make it like a big deal but uh, this guy he was a catholic he became a protestant obviously he has something wrong with him however but to prove that there is something wrong with this man i'm not putting him down but his belief now is going to put him down why in the world anyone want to believe in religion promise you you will have an endless penis unless you are a pervert give me a reason why anyone want to believe in a religion, the prophet of this religion have zero miracles and the Quran witness for that. While it is not impossible for a Catholic priest to convert to Islam, it would be relatively rare since Catholicism and Islam have very different beliefs and practices. Conversion is a personal decision that is based on an individual spiritual journey and personal beliefs. It is possible that a Catholic priest may feel drawn to Islam and choose to convert for personal reasons. However, it is important to note that such cases are not common and should not be used to make generalizations about either religion or the individuals who practice them. It is important to approach religious differences with respect and understanding and to recognize that individuals have the right to choose their own beliefs and paths in life. Why you want to believe in religion allowing you to have sex with the children? Why you believe in religion allowing you to beat your wife? Why you believe in religion allowing you to lie? I mean, I can continue. Religion of hate, religion of violence, religion of cheating, religion... Of... I mean, the guy Muhammad himself, he went to his own son, wife, when she was alone and he flirted with the wife according to the Muslim books. And you remember, the Muslim books, they try to give you the best of the image of Muhammad. So maybe he slept with her, but they say he flirted with her and she was married. So why in the world anyone have a little ethic and dignity when I believe in such a garbage? So my friend, for us, when I was a child, I learned that from what I saw around me, that fly go to garbage and bees go to the flowers you got just one more fly prove me wrong while cp make a powerful statement their bees goes to their flowers and fly goes to his garbage any muslim can prove me wrong my skype is open you don't even dare to call me they don't even dare to call me you know, if I go right now and search for people who converted out of Islam, I'm not going to search for someone is equal to a priest, a sheikh. No. What if we search and find out the wife of Muhammad herself left Islam? 
and became a Christian. <laughs> Is that true? Any Muslim he wanna get me busted? The wife of Muhammad, while he is married to her, she left him, she converted to Islam, she left him and she married a Christian man. But we don't, how many times I made videos about it? I don't know, so, so what a big deal. Anyone? Who is a Muhammadan <clears throat> would like to join us? Live on air. Anyone? If I type right now the name of a guy, his name is Muhammad Rahuma. Who is this Muhammad Rahuma? Any Muslim? The uncle of Muhammad left Islam and he converted to Christianity. The dean of the Azhar University left Islam and he became a Christian. But all of this will not prove Christianity to be right. So what? What a big deal. People, they might convert for a wrong reason. doesn't matter what you convert to who is this guy any Muslim heard of him <laughs> this is your master <laughs> this is your master he left Islam he was teaching all the sheikhs in Egypt what Islam is about go check him out Muhammad Rahuma Dr. Muhammad Rahuma. Not a potato in the lowest in, in the shelves of the Orthodox Church. This is your master. This is one who thousands of sheikhs graduated under his shoes. But we don't make a big news about it. He go on TV, he invited a lot of Muslims out of Islam to Christianity. He debated the biggest sheikhs of them and he made them shish kebab and nobody dared to debate him. Even the son of the founder of Hamas, he left Islam. But we don't make a big, you know, what a big deal. But the question here, who dare to call me and stay a Muslim? A challenge you know actually before I go live uh, uh, YouTube suggest for me a video and this video from this uh, uh, kid uh, they call him Hamza and I did not watch the whole video but I, I move it because they, they are just talking stupid talk and then they played a video of this rabbi and then this rabbi he said the Christians believe uh, in the Trinity and whatever that mean and both of them those potatoes they start laughing but my friend he just laughed at your prophet and he gave him a finger because the video you are playing saying according to this guy they don't believe that God have a son W upon him wickedness upon him says that the Jews believe that Allah have a son so who is lying? 
your rabbi or your God and your prophet? Hmm? Who is lying? The Muslim, they try to fix it. They say, no, no, hold on, hold on. If you go to the book of Tafsir, it says one Jew, and there is one Jew. Read it. The duct tape religion is not working. And your prophet penis, duct tape. Muslims like to laugh at other religion, but if you take a look and see what they believe, it's unbelievable what they believe. Your prophet anus, duct tape. Your prophet mouth, duct tape. Your prophet Quran, duct tape. It doesn't work. It says the Jews. It says the Christian, they say, and the Jews, they say. Not one Jew and one Christian. This is chapter 9, verse number 30. It says, the Jews say, it. all the Jews. So, in the video, he's playing, and both of them, they are like, you know, a bunch of kids. They are laughing, but you are laughing at yourself. You just gave finger to your prophet. Your prophet, he lied. So, either your prophet lied, and the Jews don't believe that God has a son, or your prophet told the truth, that means both of you and the one you are playing his video are a scumbag. You know, you will notice something actually when the Muslims and the Jews decide to gather against Christianity. That again proves Islam to be fraud. Because according to the Quran, it says, the most close people to those who they are Muslims are those who call themselves Nasara. And the most enemy to those who call themselves Muslims is those who call Jews. But what's happening? This man is an antichrist. He's a Jew. He hates Christianity for a very simple reason. Christianity is taking the children of the Jews and they become Christians. And now Israel losing population to Christianity. Nobody convert to Islam. You might find once, you know, like maybe one, two, three a year. But how many Muslim, how many Jews convert to Christianity every day? We have big churches. It's called Messianic Jews, which means everybody there is Messianic. So when the Abdul, they make fun, they make fun of the Quran. When the Quran says the most enemy to those who they are believers are those who call themselves Jews. The Muslim today, they are playing videos of Jews, and the Jews is saying, no, you have one, the same God. What? But isn't it the God of the Jew is, isn't it the God of the Jews, if we ask this rabbi, isn't it the God of the Jews, he came to Abraham as a man? The Jews make fun of Allah. How the Jews, they believe in Allah. <laughs> the rabbi you are playing is saying that he, he think that the God of Islam is the same as the God of the Jews. But this is the Quran. The Jews make fun of Allah. Have you ever heard of somebody? He believe in Allah and he make fun of Allah. Who is lying? Your rabbi or the Quran? Do we have any Muhammadan? Mayday, mayday, mayday. If you are a Muhammadan and you think you have a belief and religion, stand up for it. Otherwise, I accuse you, all of you, to be fraud, defending what you do not know. And actually, this is why you don't dare to call me, all of you. I heard that this potato, he posted a video saying, Christian Prince, come and debate us. Okay, I will come and debate you. Give me your Skype. I will call you right now. Is that fair? What comment do you give? Give me your Skype. Go live in your channel. I want to see. You will see all of you that those people will be crushed in two minutes. Do you dare to give me your Skype? Not, but I want. I don't want you alone. I want you to to bring with you people who even speak Arabic. What about you? Ambush me and bring me hijab. All of you are a bunch of cowards. You don't dare. I invite all the Muhammadan who have a big mouth to ambush me. You don't dare. Potatoes. 
you do not need to come to my channel you can go live in your channel and I will call you you have no excuse the excuse of I will hang up on you no you can hang up on me do you there oh what you need to do give me your Skype I will call you immediately so who is a Mohammedan he there to call me so I will make him leave Islam the same as the wife of Muhammad. Any Muhammadan? Hmm? <laughs> Any Abdul? Muslims, when they speak to you, they speak about logic. Who of you? Remember the video of Al Jazeera TV, six million Muslims leaving Islam. Did anyone have it still? Six million Muslims from Al Jazeera TV. The program is the Sharia and life. Sharia I mean the Islamic law. Six millions, not six hundred, not six thousand, not six hundred thousand six million muslims in one territory in the world muhammad he prophesied now he prophesied that shaitan he fought at the adhan we know that but uh, he prophesied that islam will die Did your prophet prophecy hurt your feeling? Muhammadan? Either you believe in what your prophet of Islam, wickedness upon him said, or you don't believe. Any Muhammadan? Even we believe Muhammad is a fraud, and we don't believe in his prophecy. But we believe that Satan, he knew his equality. Hmm? Satan, he knew the equality of his religion. He described Islam as a serpent. Why anyone want to believe in the serpent? The new clear scientist Jews who converted to Christianity. Okay, so what? I mean, that's not a big deal. We are just here showing them how hypocrite, stupid they are. Desperate. Because Islam, who is who convert to Islam famous? Famous in what? Pimp, a whore, a desperate woman looking for a marriage. As simple as that. Somebody is uh, uh, angry from his fa family, so his society. <clears throat> oh, 
All right, here we go. Our friend Sheikh uh, Imad Umad, he found the link. Six million Muslims live in Islam a, a year. And if you are a person, I don't know if the video is in just in Arabic only because the program in Arabic is. Yes, but if anyone who speak, maybe Alfred, you know, he speak both languages, maybe he can. This is your potato, and this is Al Jazeera TV, the biggest Islamic terrorist TV in the world. And this is a very famous program, Al Sharia Al Hayat, and they are crying, avalanche, six millions, six millions, brother, they are leaving Islam, brother, six millions. Not six people. Guys, we know it's in Arabic, we know. But we hope that those who speak Arabic and English, they can add subtitle. Do we have any Mohammedan? So when you make a big news about a permanent, you know, like a famous big deal priest, he is just a priest. Priest is the one who do the funeral, baptism. He's the lowest rank in a church. You never heard of something called bishop? Go and check right now. And even if he is a high person, which is not, still, that will not change the fact that Islam is the most stupid cult ever. Do we have any Mohammedan there to call me right now, right here? Who dare? They don't. They don't dare. And you know, the funny is, After this program was broadcast, uh, I went to uh, Jazeera TV and I downloaded. And then, less than 24 hours after, the whole program is deleted. Because I said, because I don't download the video, but I did not have a link for it yet. So I was going to share the link from a Jazeera TV and it's gone. But thank God I was able to download it. And this guy, he give you numbers. This is the guy who is in charge of the Dawa in whole of South and Africa. Ahmed Al-Qatani, he's from Libya. He is the one is called the director of the Menorah of the companion of the science or the study of Sharia. Crying like a puppy. Do we have any Mohammedan? Who is a Mohammedan would like to join us live on air to prove to us that Islam is not a fraud? Me, myself, I am very satisfied with the size of my private part. I don't want to convert to Islam and have an endless one. If you can call me and convince me that it is the right decision to join a right religion Make everybody his penis endless. Please feel free. Anyone? I mean, how even you can walk with such a penis? The Muslims have a brain. How you can walk with it?
I mean, if your penis is endless, it's in the front of you. It's not a tail. Like if it's a tail, I would say you drag it. But this is in the front. Anyway, let us see. Maybe we, there is a Muslim would like to call us. <clears throat> the only Muslim who called me is the one who denied the Hadith and the Quran. His name is Fakira. Hello? Eh, Fakira. <laughs> Son of Muta. This is the only one who called me. Who make fun of Muhammad? He said the F word to him and to Allah. This is the only one left between you. A mentally ill person. Do we have any brave Muslim? He believes the Quran is corrupt. He follows Rashad Khalifa. He don't accept one word of what Muhammad said, but he's a liar. When I ask him who is your prophet, who is his wife, he start giving me names. I ask him where he got this from. He said from uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, the books of history. <laughs> what a kid. So do we have a real man, a real Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to call me. Otherwise, what your prophet said is going to happen very soon. Did you watch the Muslim videos about the avalanche of the collapse of Islam? I did not make it. It's there. Okay, guys. Like, share, and comment below. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy and see you soon.